And I think in the community, particularly as there may be, you know, additional variants that are circulating that may be more contagious, you know, we really want people to be vigilant and thinking about how to maximize their protection, you know, if they are unable to, to distance you know, from others. And so I think having several layers on your face makes sense, whether that has to be in the form of two masks or just one that actually fits really well and provides, you know, several layers of protection, you know, I think makes a lot of sense to me. For instance, the surgical mask that I'm wearing now, this is a hospital grade mask that actually has three layers of material. And so for that reason, we feel very comfortable using these in the hospital. But I think in the community, particularly when people may not have access to some hospital grade, you know, personal protective equipment, getting additional masks or finding one that really works well for them makes sense. Cloth masks still absolutely work. And so they, people do not need to feel it, people should not feel compelled to rush out and buy, you know, a second mask or a third mask. I would say just make sure that when you find a cloth mask, we want it to fit your face well, make sure there are not any major gaps, and make sure that there are a couple layers of fabric in there. And those have really been, have shown to be protective and will continue to protect people even with these variants. And even if you have two masks or three masks, there's still a risk in getting together if you're not distanced. So I just really urge people to be careful until we can really achieve you know, herd immunity in our community, which it's coming, um, but it's gonna take some time. The way these variants develop is the virus mutates in our bodies. And so the more people that are infected, the more mutations develop and the more likely these variants are to develop. And so it's not a surprise that viruses mutate, but the way to drive down that mutation rate is to drive down our community incidence. The thing about the variant to keep in mind is there's, there's nothing magical about it. It can't suddenly penetrate masks. Uh, it can't jump long distances. And so all of the interventions that we've already you know, put in place in our communities, masking, social distancing, hand hygiene, should work for the variants.